just like to take a quick look at the assessment tool for the computing scheme of work. I go into teachers and into the computing scheme of work, find that we have this folder here called assessment tools. When I open it up, there are versions for PC and for Mac and a handy bit of guidance here also. So when you open up the folder, you can see that you have a version for the whole school all in one document, or you can take each individual year group and you'll be able to assign those to the relevant teachers. I've already downloaded it. When you do download it, just make sure that you click uh, enable when it asks you on uh, a couple of little tabs at the tops. Make sure that the macros are working and enabling editing, that sort of thing. I have put mine into the staff area. So everyone has access to it to be able to download it. Goes down onto your device and click open. Here we see, just opening my Excel document. Enable editing. So we can see everything that's happening on this. And what you can see now is I have the year two version that's open. If I go back to the home page, I can click on any of the other areas, see where we're up to. I'll just go back to year two because I actually had some data in that particular area. From my year two, you can see I have put pupil names. I could just add another pupil in here if I wanted to. And then I can just go through all of the different areas of the curriculum, looking at the various different units. If I click on a unit, we have this nice pop up that gives you the criteria so that you can judge things straight away, just all from the same document, save having to go and find any other pieces of information. If I want to make any kind of assessment, so we can just look at the criteria for this one of 2.5 and then I can make a judgment for Deb just by clicking, clicking and clicking again until I'm happy with the judgment that I want to make for that particular pupil. Do the same for the others and for this one. And then if you scroll down to the bottom, you can see that you also get the percentages for each particular pupil to go along. So quite a handy way of looking at the assessment. I can also click on this little data analysis area, which gives me an overall class average for where they're all up to and who hasn't had any assessments at all. Back on my home page, so you can just click into any of the different areas. You can see all of the different national curriculum objectives and the units. And just by clicking on the box here, gives you that indication. As we said before, for all of the different criteria. Back on the home page, you click on the school data button. That just gives you a general overview of where all of the different classes are within the school. And on guidance, we have a handy video walkthrough explaining all about the assessment tool. And then we have the key stage one and the key stage two threshold guidance. So just a very handy, easy way to keep tabs on where everyone's up to with your computing scheme of work using the assessment tool.